Frankfurt Arsenal Case Trim and Prep Center. <clears throat> we all know that trimming brass is a real pain and it looks like they've come up with a tool that makes it a lot easier. I, I've used several different methods to trim brass um, manually, cranking it by hand, which takes forever. Um, I got a Hornady lock and load case prep center, but you have to buy a Hornady shell holder and uh, it won't work with any other brand shell holders and there's pros and cons of that and it is quite expensive. The Hornady thing is nice but you gotta lock and twist and uh, you know more or less like the case uh, lineman case trimmer you have to manipulate it to lock it in place and line it up in it. Well this one here works a little bit different. There's only one drawback on this uh, case trimmer and prep center is it only works with uh, cases with a shoulder. Now when you get the thing in the box here uh, this apparatus is on without a collet in it and you got to screw in the uh, deburr things. It's the inside deburr, the outside neck deburr and then uh, the third one, you use a primer pocket cleaner, which I'm doing 223, so I have the small one. But, if you go on the top here, in the storage area, okay, when you open this, there are eight bushings that come with this, and uh, three different size collet. Holders. Now what these collets do is uh, they go into this here, you see where the one I have, and you tighten this knob up to get the collet to where the case will not move side to side. Basically that's all it does, is when that case goes in there, it holds it pretty steady. You don't want it to grab it, you just want it to hold it. And then you go down and how the mechanism works here, it shows you the case goes in, there's the plastic thing that's a little aluminum uh, bushing. And you just push the case down, it rests against this bushing, and there's your cutter. And you got, you can adjust the length by uh, turning this here. There's actually graduations on it also for uh, you know, going in thousands, and then the lock collar here locks the whole thing so it's set. And then basically all you do is push the case in until it hits the cutter and it trims it. No pilots, no anything. <clears throat> and it, it works pretty good. There's an instruction manual. You know, when you get it, all the uh, little components are in this compartment. Uh, this without a collet is, is in the front. And you have to uh, screw these on. These will all be in little plastic bags up in this compartment. And you screw them onto the little uh, stations and get your bushing and collet, set it in here, and then uh, away you go. I kind of like it. Um, the reason I got this, I got it on sale at Graphs and Sons for $147 delivered. And it is kind of a time saver. This is faster than uh, using the other types of trimmers. And it does hold well. Um, so I'll show you how it works. There's your on and off button over there. And we'll position the camera and run a few cases through here. I was going to make a video showing you how you set this all up in that, but... I couldn't really get a good camera angle, it would be a long video, and the instructions are pretty clear. Just read your instruction manual and just about anybody can figure this out. And like I said, uh, how the diagram shows you, like, this collet is just when you go down and hit that bushing, is so it doesn't move much side to side. You turn it on, and then, the, you know, these components rotate in that, and then the cutter's rotating in there. Now all you do is take the case, and you can feel it hit the cutter, 
and you just apply a little bit of pressure until you don't feel cutting anymore. And then you just go here, there, deburr it, clean the primer pocket out. And you know, depending, you can apply a little bit of pressure and, and go a few thousandths more. And I think, depending on the brand of case, because this is mixed brass, you may get a variance, but it holds well within a few thousandths. You know, the idea is as long as it's, the brass isn't long, it's trimmed somewhat. Let's see what that one come up with. getting a feel for it and it's quick. It's probably the quickest one of the different tools that I have to use. The only, like I said, the only downside is the way this thing works, you have to have some sort of case with a shoulder in it. It won't do straight wall cases like pistol brass or 4570. There we go. But it's pretty good within two, three thousandths one way or the other. Some of these would go in and be a couple thousandths long, but they're still seven thousandths under the maximum length. <coughs> so it's a pretty good tool, and like I said, Graf's had them on sale. It was $147 um, delivered. And you don't need to buy anything else with the things you have in there. Um, the different bushings and the different plastic collets, they say that you can, you know, do, it's like a universal thing. You don't have to buy any or uh, any more, like, uh, shell holders, pilots, any of that other stuff that a lot of systems use. You don't have to. It's all right there in one package deal. Uh, I don't know how large it'll go. It, it gives you a case on there. 400 something, let me see. Uh, 460 Weatherby. So, um, that's a pretty large case. I don't know how well it would work with the uh, black powder cartridge guns. I may not uh, do those larger, older cartridges. But for like 223, 30-06, 308, something where I'll reload a large amount of these, like I get a thousand cases at a time. Um, if you're just loading like a hundred rounds or less occasionally of a, a rifle cartridge, it, it may not be beneficial to you. But if you do a lot of reloading and a lot of different cartridges, like I do, several different calibers, this will handle all, just about all of your mill surplus uh, cases, like 6.5 Carcano, 303 British, 30 odd 6, 8 millimeter. You know, I mean, this this thing is a, a great setup. So that's my take on it. And like I said, if you if you go to Graphs, they may still have them on sale uh, while they're you know the supply lasts. And it's it's a pretty good item. I like it. Uh, gonna get a lot of use out of this.